Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Gameplay and Review. This is part two of my birthday special and it's also a birthday special for Craig Simmons and Hunter Dillon since their birthday is also in January. This is a game that I've never played and like, like I mentioned for this particular week it none of the games that I'm showing I've ever played before. But this is a Tiny Toon Adventures game that I've never played. It's for the Game Boy. It's called Babs Big Break. And I have seen screenshots of the game, but I've never bothered to play it myself. So I figured to get this game and to play it. Since the, the place that I actually bought this in is going out of business. And the place that I got it in was Infinite Lives. I've been to Infinite Lives before. That's how I got my Retro Duel. However, the store will be closing in February. So as a result, I've been picking up games that I've never played, along with games that I have played. And I'll be showing those after this marathon week, uh, uh, five day marathon is over with. I will be showing the remainder games, the remainder of the games that I got at Infinite Lives that I have played before. The remainder of the ones that I have never played before will be for future gameplay and reviews. But this one, I'm going to play for you today and find out if it's a good game, if it's going to get a green card, or if it's going to sink so low and end up getting a red card. Well, the only way I'm going to find out if it is a bad game or a good game is if I actually play it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to hook up the Game Boy Player, since I do have the Game Boy Player, for the GameCube. And I'm going to play this game today. And I'm also going to play it in monochrome. I'm not going to do it through the default color that the Game Boy Player does this particular game. I had to check this game to see if it would power up, and it did. And as a result, I actually got to see the default color that this game uses. But I'm going to play it in monochrome. So, here we go. Hope you enjoy. And this is my gameplay and review of Bab's Big Break. Alright folks, I'm ready to begin the game. Uh, Alright, everything's all set. You know it says Tiny Toon Adventures, it's called Bab's Big Break. No, we don't want a demo. Don't want a demo just yet. Alright, that's it. Let's start play the game. That was the entire intro. Okay, let's begin. To be a good actress, you need two things. Talent and luck. But even these aren't enough! <laughs> I should be really saying it like that. When someone puts a mountain in your path! Luckily, I have friends like a dizzy devil to help me out. So let's get into it! Alright, go to the next one. 
looks pretty similar to the Andy Hess game.
starts a fun game. I'm, I'm actually liking this game. I wonder how challenging it is though when, it, when I get to it more. I wonder what that is. Oh, I just stop on it. I think years ago I remember uh, when GamePro TV had like a cheat for this where you could get a lot of one-ups. I don't know if it was this part. feeling those were spikes and stuff. Have to avoid those next time. Oh, I was stupid that time. Oh, and I lost. I lost some diamonds as a result. Oh, there's one. There's two. Son of a... Oh, and you, oh, and you lose your other heart. Grrr, food bake, uh, makes Dizzy tired. Me go to sleep now. By the way, that's from, uh, that part is from Buster Bust Loose. I 
just trying to get all the, the diamonds. So I didn't get all the diamonds, so. It's not too bad actually. It has different varieties, which is good. It's not always restricted to the tiny tuna adventures thing, which is good. Okay. So that means I got everything. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back. I will tell you. The only flaw that I see so far is that it's kind of easy, and if it would have had a little more challenge, I, I probably would have considered this one of the best Tiny Toon Adventure games. This Buster Bust Loose had challenge, that went the wrong way, Buster Bust Loose had challenge along with the first Tiny Toon Adventure game on the NES. I will say this does have better music than the first Tiny Toon Adventure game on the NES. Did you at least get variety with this? I don't think it's that easy. Buster too much. Holy cow. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. There's quite a bit of diamonds. So, you know what? I'm going to switch to Plucky. Take a break. Use the angle. Oh, come on, you stupid bird. Ah. Uh, figured it out. I got the heart. What, what I might do is go all the way back, try to avoid these fire things. They look like faces. <laughs> to go here after all. That's cool. Holy moly. 
moly. He's going home to rest. Okay. Rest for a bone. Rest. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a fun game, I'll tell you that. I think I've made my decision. And usually when I make my decision, the review comes. Back in the past, when I used to do uh, my gameplay review, I would always uh, not wait and play it some more. Find out more about it. Holy moly. Well, lucky for that, I was able to jump on the kill it. Play it a little bit and then make my decision. Holy moly. Alright. I think. Okay. I'm done. I am done. I'm going to mute that. I'm going to turn on the light and give my review of the game. Now, after doing my off-camera game of Bab's Big Break, I have to include that it actually isn't so easy at all. I actually found out after I played the second level, the third level is a little harder. So, the challenge is actually, I'm going to say it's just right. I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. The challenge is just right. It's definitely worth, definitely worth it for the challenge. It's definitely worth playing this game. Yeah, the challenge, really good. I was surprised after the second level. And that's, of course, when I uh, stopped recording and played the off-camera game. Found out more details about the game. Found out there's limited continues. You only get two. If you lose both of them, you have to start all over. So that increases the difficulty. So this is a challenging game after all. And after I found out, this made my recommendation for this game a lot higher. And I'm going to be quite honest with you. I think I liked this game more than the last game that I played. Even though I did like the last game, I think I like this game more. Honestly, it did not disappoint at all. Now, I think the only real flaw with the game was, I think, if I had to pick a flaw, I would say that the limited, we the limited weapons that you have you do have a stomp, but you do have limited weapons, and of course you can collect the weapons. However, I do feel that the collecting of weapons and not having unlimited ammo for those weapons... I, I'm going to say this. I think it's a little bit of a con several in, in several parts, but I will say even though the weapons are limited, there are they are still they are still worth it to use. Unlike toys, which had certain weapons that were actually practically every single weapon was useless, but you could still use them. The weapons that are in here are not useless, and they do work however it depends on the weapon that you use and its range sometimes it does not have good range the weapons that you get sometimes do not have good range and you could easily get killed as a result 
So that's really the only big flaw that I can give to this game. Besides that, I think this is a great game. And the card that I'm going to give this is pretty easy. It is pretty easy. I think it's well worth it to track down. Yep. Green card, folks. Yep. Tiny Toon Adventures, Bab's Big Break gets a green card for me. I highly recommend it. And so far, it's I think it's the best game that I've played so far this year. There's more games to play, though. And I do recommend that if you can find this game, definitely check it out. It is fun. It is enjoyable. I was quite surprised how good this game actually is. It's probably one of the best Tiny Toon Adventures games I've ever played. I would like to rank someday the best Tiny Toon Adventures games. It would be awesome. I've played Buster Bust Loose, and now I've played this one, and I, I also played the NES game as well. It's going to be a tough matchup if I ever do something like that. Rank every single Tiny Toon Adventures game that has ever been released. I think there was another one for the Game Boy Advance that I saw the other day. I don't know if that's any good, but I might try it sometime. But I will say, this is definitely worth having in your collection. And it's by, it, it's made by Konami, for God's sake. Usually, Konami makes awesome NES, Game Boy, and whatever not games. Even though, they, in my opinion, they haven't been that good of a company in the last some some might some many years but when it was the 1980s 1990s whatever they were awesome and this game does not disappoint Babs Big Break highly recommended and that includes my review of the game and of course green card for Babs Big Break so tomorrow I think I'm going to do a Atari 2600 game. But for now, peace out everybody, and I will catch you next time for the next gameplay review. Happy gaming.